Yo, today I'm gonna show you how to make these kind of posters. I made a couple of these myself, so I'm just gonna show you how I made them. So first of all, we're gonna go very quickly over how the whole process is done. And then I'm gonna show you in detail how to do every step. So first of all, I got a picture and I put a little Gaussian blur over it. And then I put over a gradient map. So then I added a text and a couple of textures and a bit of noise. So now let's make it from scratch. First of all, you gotta get a picture and then you gotta put a gradient map over it. But first of all, what I did is I put a little bit of Gaussian blur and I made it a bit bigger because of the Gaussian blur, the sides getting a little bit transparent. So you go here and you press gradient map. Here you can add the colors to your gradient. To add the color you just press once and to change the color you double click. So I made the gradient. It's up to you how many colors you want to add. Uh, I just put colors in between to have a, a bit of control over it. And this is how it came out. It's not the same as this picture because it's hard to recreate it. But I'm going to show you what I did here. On the original, my gradient map was like this. And once you add a gradient map, you can go to your picture. And you go to image, adjustment and curves and you can play around with the lighting because it will change the colors. So for example, if I make it darker, you see the changes. Yeah. So once you made a gradient map, you can go to the curves and play around with the picture. Maybe those effects you will like more. So back to our work from scratch. Now we're gonna add a text. And before that, we hold control, click, we select the picture and the gradient and we group it. Now we hold control and duplicate it. And we convert it to a smart project. So next step is to add a text. And the best font uh, for this will be Monument Extended or Free Sans, Helvetica, something really simple, classical, blocky. Now we need to add effects to this text and for that we need to hide our pictures and add a black color. So now we need to blur the text a little bit. And we go to the adjustment and we go to threshold. And here you can choose how much of the ink bleed effect you want. And the next effect is a displacement. But for displacement, you need to have a saved project file. And how to do that is you just gotta make a new project. And all you gotta do is add a texture inside it. And just save that file. Now you go back to your file and you choose the displace effect. These numbers uh, affect how much uh, you want to displace. If you want to displace really hard, then you got to put like 50 and 50. But if you want to just a little bit, you can just choose 10 and 10. I'm going to choose 20 and 20. And we're going to choose the project file that we just saved. You see the text now is a bit distorted. So now we got to export this as a picture and you want to hide these two layers. So we're just going to group them and hide them. We don't need them anymore. Now we need to bring back our picture. So now we bring back the picture with the text. You go here and choose screen and the black color disappears, leaving you only with the picture and the text. Now you group these together 
hold alt to duplicate it again and convert it to a smart project and now all there is left to do is add some texture you can add the texture to the picture maybe you just want to add the noise and that's it because even the noise by itself works for these posters what I do is I go to filter filter gallery go, go to texture texturizer I put relief about 7 or 8 and scaling to 100 now I add a bit of noise so now it's done but if you want you can add a bit of textures and my favorite three textures are this one this and this if you want to get any of these textures you can click the link in my description and go to my discord channel uh, I leave all my textures there so we're gonna use this texture we're gonna lighten it lower opacity a little bit then we're gonna use this texture put a screen maybe lower the opacity as well so now your poster is done hope you like the video hope you learned something new if you're having problems just follow the step-by-step -step tutorial and you should be good